Welcome everybody. Time now for our first Midday Forum and joining us is Grant Daly with Streets Alive, which is September 22nd from mm -hmm. 1 to 4.30, hosted by the South Salt Creek Cooper Park neighborhood as part of the effort by the Nonprofit par Partnership for Healthy Lincoln to promote health and fitness in medically underserved neighborhoods. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Good to see you. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, so this is pretty yeah. exciting. So you're the, you're the president of the association, I believe, over there, or the, right? Or the, yes, okay. yeah, I'm the president of the neighborhood. So what's going on? Let's, uh, I know this goes on every year, but this is pretty exciting for the neighborhood. So this is um, kind of a, a day of play for all of, of Lincoln's families and residents, and mm -hmm. we're just happy to have it in one of Lincoln's most historic neighborhoods. Yeah. Um, it's more than, you know, the park's 160 some years old. Wow. So, yeah. yeah no, Cooper Park. Yes, yeah. that's great. Oh, that's a great, great facility. Mm -hmm. um, what I like about it is they have lots of shade over there. You know? Absolutely. The big, big old trees. trees yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but the, the uh, as I understand it, in some the reason for this is to really get people to build awareness about uh, exercise, healthy mm -hmm. habits, eating good food. Uh, some communities, uh, in, in fact, underserved, medically underserved communities may not get that proper attention they need, especially in the little ones, the kids who really need a, a good healthy start in life. This is what this is really aimed at, right? Families that, that are trying to improve their health, overall health. Absolutely, and it's all about doing it as a, as a community, you know, not just having to do it yourself, being able to, to see everyone else around you. Oh, they're biking, they're walking, we're all, you know, getting to know about community resources and different tables. And, mm -hmm. you know. How long have you lived in that neighborhood yourself? I've lived there for about four, four and a half years now. Okay, four. So. And you're a relatively young guy, see? Yeah. And, uh, what, you know, when you were younger, did you, did you, did you grow up in that neighborhood or no? No, no. no. Okay, just no, you've only lived there yes. about four years or so, okay. Um, and it's, you, can't under, you can't overstate the importance of having a healthy childhood. Oh, absolutely. That's, and I think that's where you really get the foundation for the behaviors you'll, you'll have later on in life. And so. now when, the fam when families show up, this is, again, this is uh, September 22nd, uh, mm -hmm. when families show up, what can they expect? What kind of events, what kind of fun can they have? I think there's going to be music, right, dancing, there's kind of a, yeah. there's sort of a just, there's different things set up right along the course. Yeah, there's, there's music, dancing, there'll be um, and different there's some, inflatables. There's some stuff up there, yep. by the way, from previous years. Um, a lot of different performances. Um, there'll be different stations. There's always interesting new types of events and free bottled water along mm -hmm. the route too. Right. So. Great dancing, pa mm -hmm. a face painting. Every kid loves face painting, right? Right. Uh, and there's the bounce house. Mm -hmm. I don't think adults can go in there too bad, but uh, <laughs> you know, maybe they can make a, there's an exception this year for lots of dancing, uh, cultural activities, jumping jacks, exercise. You know, and, uh, as I understand, uh, this is also an effort to curb obesity. You know, we have a lot of, a, we have a big obesity epidemic in this country, uh, kids and adults. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully this is something that will help steer kids in the right direction. Absolutely. I think this will be a great, fun and healthy event for those kids. And what are you going to be doing that day yourself? Just uh, so I'm going to be volunteering all day. I've done, I've done volunteering with Streets Alive for the past three years. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a community organizer in my job and with NeighborWorks, and so we work a lot with uh, the Partnership for Healthy Lincoln, who's putting on the event. Okay, I think yeah. last year was in the Belmont area, if I'm not mistaken. This it was. is your first year. Uh, yep. This is the first year in the, okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent, and you, uh, so finally, and in, 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 uh, you know, if you need more, if you're looking for more information, can people contact you, or, or should they contact the partnership, or who should they contact for this? Yeah, thing? feel free to contact Partnership for Healthy Lincoln. Me, if you have questions about the area and the, the different sites information, I have some of that, but um, yeah, Veronica and Susie are the contacts. Excellent, okay, yeah. well, thanks for stopping in. Good to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, Good too. luck with it, okay. Thank you. Let's well, stick around, we'll be right back with our second midday guest. You're watching Channel 8 Eyewitness News, Midday.